Gandalf, supreme mage of Middle-earth that smacks down Sauron. Palpatine, cunning imperial Sith Lord that out-schemes and out-fights all obstacles to power. Who is deadliest? To find out, our world-class fighters are testing history's most lethal weapons. Fire! Using 21st century science, we'll see what happens when the two warriors go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. No rules, no safety, no mercy. It's a duel to the death to decide who is the deadliest warrior. Inside the fictional fight club, our team of scientists, doctors, and warriors roll out the finale to season one by putting two battle-hardened veterans against each other, Gandalf and Palpatine. Gandalf is one of the five wizards inhabiting Middle-earth, and he played a crucial part in the War of the Ring and the fall of Sauron. He is the new white wizard, dedicated to protecting the world from the forces of darkness. Palpatine, on the other hand, personifies darkness, with the dark side of the Force, he has risen to power, slaughtering, scheming, and manipulating his way to the throne of Empire. So, which of these two wise and powerful warriors will win? Chief Tactician and Test Coordinator, Bruce Octavius. I'm going with Palpatine here. I think he's going to win based solely on the fact that I think he's bringing much better short-range weapons. Head Researcher and Simulations Programmer, Clovis DeShell. Personally, I think Palpatine will be the victor because he mastered the dark side, and that will vanquish Gandalf. Medical consultant and prospective marine, Jason Vassalone. I think Palpatine's going to win today's Deadliest Fiction Warrior. I think this because I believe the Force and the lightsaber are far more superior to Gandalf's magic and the stick. To find the Deadliest Fictional Warrior, we'll start at mid-range. Palpatine brings force lightning. This is not your average electrical problem. Okay, Palpatine, so this is like the signature move of a Sith Lord, your force lightning is. Uh, show us how it works. Should we go see? Let's go out to the range. Experience the full power of the dark side. To be destroyed. Stand. Skills are no match for the power of the dark side. You had paid the price for your lack of vision. guys don't look like they're dead. No, no, unfortunately, it's going to knock you on your ass and disable you, but it's not a one-shot kill. Probably, though, if you shock them enough, they will die. All right, Gandalf, uh, do you have anything to answer this? The staff and destructive blast combination. This is no old man's walking stick. Okay, Gandalf, you got your targets over there. First, I want you to bludgeon them with your staff. Then I want you to use your destructive blast to split the ground open or send them flying. On three, two, one, go! This is no place for a hobbit! <laughs>
Okay, very nice job, Gandalf. First of all, let's look over here. Okay, all these guys are bludgeoned. They're either out cold or they're, they're on their asses. Nice work with your staff. I don't know if it's a killing shot, but it's nice work with your staff. And then over here, split the ground wide open, sends all those guys flying. All those guys are down. Like, can you die from flying? Or falling back to the ground. You can sure as hell die from flying up far enough and falling back down on the ground with the force of the impact. Of course you can. I think these guys are unconscious and not dead. They could easily be dead. We don't know that. We have to check. But I th think it's pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Very well done, Gandalf. So, which weapon is superior at mid range? I'm going with Gandalf for this one, and it's, I believe the uh, stick has much more power than um, Pepitini's uh, move. Well, I actually think that it's an even match. Both of them get the edge because none of them are killing blows. They can not regard unconscious, but they're not killing blows. Gandalf's move can easily be a killing blow. He splits the ground in the right place. Fall or you're knocked in the air so far, and then you fall. Well, depending on how far you go, how far you fall, where you fall, the speed you fall, and just and let's let's put it in your terms for a second. You say that they're both either distracting or disabling moves, and not killing moves, correct? Exactly. Well, Gandalf's move with the staff, the destructive blast, is omnidirectional. Whereas Palpatine's force lightning is only one direction. I know so with him. Gandalf can slam his staff on the ground and split the ground in front of Palpatine, whereas Palpatine actually has to hit Gandalf in one direction with his force lightning. But the question is, does it kill you? If if they don't kill you, Gandalf has more ways of hitting than Palpatine does, and Gandalf's move has more power than Palpatine's. I agree. I agree. Uh, you guys can take what you want, but I stick with giving them the even edge. Gandalf. Gandalf. Even. Gandalf gets the edge at mid-range weapons with the staff and destructive blast combination. Coming up, the warriors test their special weapons when deadliest fictional warrior returns. On April 9th, what happens when you just can't seem to get it out? Ah, oh, that damn cheese! Fuck! From the filmmakers that brought you The Departed uh -uh. comes The Constipated. Rated oh. S for shit. Back at the fictional fight club. Our experts are putting Gandalf and Palpatine to the test to see which adept is deadlier. Now comes the test for special weapons. Palpatine uses Force Storm, the power of 50 hurricanes in the palm of your hand. Well, is this the Force Storm? I've heard things about it, like incorrect fleets of ships and other things. Oh, we better test this one in range. Let's go.
10. Uh, it is possible. Remember Galaxia? Good point. Look, it's so effective. Look, there's still the after effect of it. Where did the clouds come from? Well, I don't know. Why don't we bring it out of here? Well, before we go, I think we forgot about the dead people over there. Yeah, we should what, be more sensible to what's them. Their sta what's their status? Uh, the ones, no, they're all dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. We'll write to your families. Yeah. Dead. We better get the hell out of here. Well, Gandalf, that was impressive what Papatine did. So, I guess... Yeah, prove it. Yeah, prove it, bitch. The light of the valor. A shining light that sets its targets ablaze. Alright, Gandalf, I'm a bit skeptical. I mean, you got a big hill to climb here. I mean, yeah. we're still seeing the after effects of Palpatine's force storm. I doubt that he can match this. Seriously, I do. Alright, Gandalf, there are your targets. Three, two, one, fire! Three guys, four guys, all down, went right through their bodies, set them all on fire. Still a burning mess out there. Indeed, all of these guys are dead. Spontaneous human combustion, it's about as close as you're ever going to get. So, who has the better special weapon? I have to give my edge to Paul Poutine. The four storm is more devastating and has a greater area of damage, whereas Gandalf Light of the Valor is only one directional and, although impressive, it doesn't compare to 50 hurricanes. Palpatine gets the edge in special weapons with his Force Storm. After the break, we see the combatants' long-range weapons. Gandalf or Palpatine? Who is deadliest? What happens when scientists get serious? I'm getting serious, baby. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when scientists get serious. Get serious. <laughs> 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 